Okay, now we're ready to look at the third operation. And so following the same conventions that we had before, we're going to take this piece and rotate it away from us 90 degrees. But before we do anything, again, remember we're going to go File, Save As, and maybe we need to save what we did um, there for Operation 2. And now we're going to go File, um, File, Save As, and we're going to call it Operation 3. And again, we save it right at the beginning so we don't accidentally overwrite Operation 2 when we're starting to mess with it. So now look at we're dealing with Operation 3. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees. So I'm going to look at the right work coordinate system. And then I'm going to go Transform, Rotate, select everything, hit Enter, bring up the rotation. Again, we want to move and not copy. And so we're going to go here, hit negative 90 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the center. And so the center point of rotation, I'm going to click right there. So it's going to, it's going to rotate around that point by 90 degrees clockwise. Hit OK. And then to see if everything's OK, we'll do an isometric view. And that looks right. OK. And so now that that sides up, we are going to basically do what we did on side one. You can see that it's a little more busy here, but um, nothing too difficult. A couple things to be aware of is that these holes here are quarter inch holes or a little bit more than a quarter inch. And they're different than these holes here, which were the 0.196 holes for the drilling. And so if these, I would probably just use the quarter inch end mill. Um, and you can drill it with that, or you can try it. You, if it's a quarter inch hole, you can't do a contour in a quarter inch hole. Um, also, you could get a quarter inch bit out um, to do that. And so just be aware of the sizes of the holes, but you should be good to go to try the other two sides on your own. 